here we go, look at this, as you come around this corner, look at that, looks so incredible, oh it's, I can hear all that like, dogs howling and stuff, I can hear ghosts, oh that is so awesome, just look at it, the little lion in there, it's so well themed in here, good god, it looks actually crazy, I'm so excited for this. So if you're wondering where it is, Phantom Man is just behind me, and then the other side of me, this big Thunder Mountain. It's like completely different rides. It's actually cool as hell. Right, so we're going to go and see where we can get on. But look, there's another side to it here. How cool does that Phantom Man look? I'm so excited for this. Let's get on and let's ride this. We're obviously going through the disabled exit um, entrance, but which is the exit again. Because we get on with a disability access because my nan's in a wheelchair. Which is awesome. So we get to like jump the queues and stuff. It's brilliant. Um, but yeah, here we go. We're going in. Okay. So we've just got a Phantom Manor. Uh, shall I was taking a photo. We've just got a Phantom Manor, which is right here. It's so awesome, this ride, honestly. It was not what I expected. It was actually quite scary. I mean, like, it was like, compared to like, the, oh, sorry, just in the background. It's the big boat going past. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. That was actually really scary compared to the one in Florida. The one in Florida is like really fun and dancey and all singing and stuff and it's like a catchy song. Whereas this one's like a proper skeleton screaming at you and so there's a bride the whole way through. She's scary. And then you actually go like under the ground, like into the underworld stuff. Like, into, and then like there's skeletons and coffins and it's actually quite creepy. I mean for like little kids and stuff, that's quite scary. I can understand why that one's that well, I don't think it's better but I think it's definitely scarier. Uh, I do think the outside is better though. It's so well themed out here. It's awesome, we absolutely loved it. But yes, we're not sure what we're gonna go do now. We're gonna go see if we can maybe find like a show or something like that. I'm not even sure what the time is. But we're gonna go see, find a show, maybe watch a show, grab some food in a bit perhaps. But yeah, we'll see what we do and we'll let you know when we decide. So we're just walking through the actual frontier land and behind us in the little woody bit which you're probably gonna see <laughs> a little woody bit funny that is woody it looks so awesome so we're walking through here to try and get on the mm, train that goes around the entire park but we're just trying to work out where it actually is we're not really sure uh, Forest of Enchantment is over that way. I think it's this way, guys. Okay, so it is literally over here. So we're going this way. We're going to go and ride the, the train that goes around the entire park. And then when we get back, we're going to go and do this. The Forest of Enchantment, a Disney musical adventure. It looks awesome. So it's all like, as far as we can tell, it's got like Tarzan and stuff in it. And it's all like, all different jungle stuff. And they do like a huge musical. I'm really excited for that. So we're now going into Cottonwood Creek Ranch, whatever that is. Cottonwood Creek Ranch, super excited for that. We'll go and find the Enchanted, I think that's the Enchanted Tales one, or the Enchanted Forest is through there, and I think the train is over here. We'll let you know when we kind of know where we're going and what we're doing. So um, yeah, we'll see you in a minute, guys. Hey guys, so yeah, we didn't actually get to ride the train um, because when we got there, it was a half an hour wait and then it's like a half an hour ride the whole way around the park so there'd have been an hour and the show of Forest and Charmin started before that so now we're just, uh, sorry, I'm just confused what's going on now we're sitting here so we're now just waiting to see the film and the show it's going to be awesome <laughs> Venez à sa rencontre. Elle arrive. Uh, the storyteller who unfolds to the brothers I saw him. through her extraordinary adventures. Come and meet her. She's here.
Okay, so we are now walking out of the Forest of Enchantment. You can see a well, not a massive crowd. We kind of come out last, but there's a big old crowd in front of us. People leaving. We've just seen Forest of Enchantment, and uh, oh my goodness, what it was, was your amazing. view? Really yeah, good. I love the Tangled bit, obviously. Yeah, well, there's Tangled bit. There's like King Louis in there. He's awesome. It was a really cracking show. Like really good, like quality show. Mm. Yeah, I smell bacon too. Um, but really good show, and it was all in English as well, which was really cool. Uh, all the songs in it were in English, love that. Um, but yeah, honestly, absolutely brilliant. We've got loads of footage from it as well, so we'll really should include in that, I'm sure. We're now going to go get some lunch, we're not sure where we're going, but we'll let you know. So, this is where we decided to go Cowboy Cookout Barbecue. It's uh, another little Disney restaurant. Honestly, the Disney Paris have really, really outdone themselves with the theming on some of these places. They look awesome. It's a huge barn. So awesome here. We're now going in here, which is pretty cool. Well, I don't know how well it's going to... Oh, it's doing alright. The camera's doing well. Uh, so much seating in here. If you ever wonder and want somewhere to sit... Oh, that's cool, look. It's all like barbecue food and stuff. It's absolutely awesome. We love it. It's awesome. Look at this. So they've only got four menus. We'll, uh, we'll let you see the menu closer up in two seconds, guys. But it's really cool in here. So this is the actual menu a bit closer up, guys. You've got sort of sausage or like veg, like a salad mix. Uh, the chicken. We're gonna get the ribs, looks awesome. And then you get, yeah, I think it's a normal burger. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, and on the other side, a sort of the desserts you can get. The desserts look awesome. Have we shown any actual vouchers? No, we haven't. Okay, so this is sort of, this one here is the full board standard voucher. So this is a lunch voucher. You pretty much use it anywhere. It's, um, it's mainly for sort of like, you meant to use it in sort of the quick services or the all you can eat. The all you can eat is um, the better place to use it because it's worth more money there. You get better money value. But here you get your quick service meal like you do in all normal Disney parks. That's what we've been doing because it's just, you don't want to always eat all you can eat. But yeah, we're going to show you what we get when we get it. Okay, so I went for the chicken wedges. There's a little brownie and I also got a Coke. But honestly, look, you got like a whole, just a half a chicken here. And then Charlotte went for wedges, ribs, I think she got a Fanta. And then how cute is this dessert she got, look. So cute, caramel apple It's to celebrate the 25th anniversary. So it's the apple crumble and it's awesome, it's super cute. You get like a little 25 edible disc chocolate, I think it's white chocolate maybe. Yeah, it's super cute, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna eat these and then I think we're gonna head across to Walt Disney Studios, which is the other park at Disneyland Paris, and we'll show you when we get there. Yes, so 
we have just eaten and they were so good that chicken was actually delicious I loved it we are heading out of the Disneyland Park and we're gonna go across to Walt Disney Studios which is where Tower of Terror is the Ratatouille ride um, stuff like that we haven't actually been there since we've been in Paris so we're hoping that um, we can get some good vlogging in there some really good pictures as well It'll be sweet um, we've been having a lot of issues actually with our um, what's it called fast uh, photo pass so when you get pictures taken on the rides or in front of the castle by the cast members they scan your little card which is here actually little photo pass it's like uh, your magic band they do it on your magic band in florida but here they have a little card for it they basically take your picture on the ride or whatever they put it on the card and you can view it on the app the app just hasn't been activated and my card won't activate keep saying it doesn't exist but i definitely didn't steal it i paid for it so it's just being weird as I say, we're now heading out of the park, and uh, as we walk out, you should see the castle come around behind me. You love it. Honestly, I could literally sit here all day and look at this castle. Just look how beautiful it is. We'll turn around right now. The castle is so beautiful. We were saying that the castle, if you actually look at it, this bit here, I'll show you now. Right, so the actual bit here, these little bits here, all that the rock formation is and stuff, the actual grass on it, obviously it's like gonna be fake grass, because I mean, who's gonna get up there and cut that? But it looks really cool. We love how they met, like built up the side of the castle. It looks so effective, I love it. I mean, obviously in the Disney castle in Florida, it's actually just, like the whole castle is huge, and it looks awesome. But yeah, one thing as well I don't quite like about this park, is you're about to see it walk past any second now. That in Disney World, you would never see someone from Adventureland walking through Liberty Square or walking through, or someone from Fantasyland walking through Tomorrowland. They all go through the tunnels. I know they don't have that here, but it's just kind of, you know, it's not, it's, I mean, it's awesome. I love it. I'm not putting it down because it's brilliant here, but it's not quite the same. This is not, it, 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 you know, like, the problem is, if I'd have come here first, it would be perfect. But it's the fact that I've become accustomed to perfection, which Walt Disney World provides. Um, but what I do love, and I have kind of fallen in love with, is how cute and quaint their little Main Street is, look. Their little Main Street is super, super cute. I absolutely love it. Just look. It's awesome. And no matter which way you look, so you look down Main Street, you see Disneyland Hotel, it looks awesome. You look back up Main Street, and you see the castle, it's even more awesome. So yeah, we're going to Walt Disney Studios, we'll see you there. Walt Disney. Honestly, he might be one of the best men in the entire world.